Hey guys, it's me. Sorry it's been forever. It's been like five months. Um, I've been finishing up my junior year. Tomorrow's my last day. Woohoo, and then I'm a senior. Um, but then I lost my voice for a couple weeks, so I couldn't make a video. But I'm back, so um, I'm here with my June Q&A. So let's get started, shall we? So, the first question comes from at Soy Day Heather. What is your favorite thing about going to SeaWorld? Okay, so that's a hard one, but I guess I would say that my favorite thing about going to SeaWorld is being able to talk to the people that get to work with them every day, and also seeing the animals in general because they are the loves of my life and they just bring me so much joy and I just love to see them. Um, the next question comes from at Cory.photography23. If you could create one new SeaWorld attraction, what would it be? He. That's a hard one. Um, hmm. I would say if they could come out with a new attraction, doing a like interaction program with the um, Commerson's Dolphins would be really cool, but it'd also be really cool to have Commerson's Dolphins at SeaWorld Texas because they're only at Orlando and San Diego, I think, or it may just be Orlando, but I would love to have Commerson Dolphins here, and swimming with one would be really fun. The only problem with that is that they're such high energy animals, and they have an attention span of a squirrel, so they can only hold attention for so long. Um, that's why trainers have to be very patient working with them, so I don't even know if an interaction program with them would work out. It would just have to be very, very um, trained. It would take a long time. But anyway... Next question at sw.landry, who is your favorite orca and what is your favorite thing to do at SeaWorld? My favorite orca is Kayukit. Um, he is a, I think a 24, I think it's 24, 24 year old Kilowell at SeaWorld, Texas and he is my baby. Um, what is your favorite thing to do at SeaWorld? My favorite thing to do at SeaWorld is to go to the One Ocean show. And I also love to go backstage at White Whale and Dolphin Stadium. That is like my place to go. Um, next question comes from at Floridian Orcas or Maddie. Uh, who is who are some of your favorite other favorite SeaWorld YouTubers? M some of my other favorite YouTubers are you, Maddie, or Makayo on YouTube. You should totally subscribe to her. Um, she is awesome. She's also the girl who I got my wonderful SeaWorld tag idea from. Um, some of my other favorite SeaWorld YouTubers, um, Kaylee or SWSD Photography on Instagram, she's really awesome, Chloe is awesome, or SeaWorld.Orcas on Instagram, um, who else, who else, who else, who else, um, Hannah C13 on Instagram is, um, I think it's Beyond the Sea on YouTube, she's really awesome too, um, Alejandro, Seward Alejandro is awesome. Abby Goss, all that goodness. They're all really awesome. Um, so those are the only four questions I got on the picture that I recently posted. Um, so I pulled some questions from back in September when I couldn't make a video. So at Avery520 says, what's your favorite show and who is your favorite beluga and lag at SeaWorld San Antonio? Uh, my favorite show is One Ocean. Actually, scratch that. My favorite show was Beluga Story. Now it's Ocean Discovery, but Beluga Story was my favorite show. Um, and my favorite beluga and lag at SeaWorld. My favorite beluga is Emac, my little squishy marshmallow. And my, <coughs> my favorite lag is Avalon. Um, at underscore SeaWorld, underscore support, underscore, or Emmy. What are the reviews of the encounters and interactions that you've done at SeaWorld and what motivates you to be a trainer? So what's really awesome is that you asked that question because I have the perfect answer for you. So a while back, I actually wrote an article called the top five interaction programs and tours at SeaWorld and I posted that on centralfloridatop5.com as usual. So I'll leave the link to it down below and you can see my top five favorite interactions and tours that SeaWorld has to offer. But also disclaimer, these are only interactions that I've personally participated in. 
I can't speak beyond the whole um, Grand Adventure Tour or Behind the Scenes Tour or anything like that. So these are just the interaction programs and tours that I have participated in. But you can check out that link down below. And what motivates me to be a trainer? The idea that I get to protect and conserve these animals and work with them and learn more about them every single day is a wonderful idea to me. It's my passion. Um, but also being to, able to educate and inspire the next generation of conservationists to go out and protect these animals and to learn more about them and maybe clean up a beach or go vegetarian or save water, all those kinds of things. I am a big advocate for conserving these animals and this planet and being a trainer allows me to do both. Train and work with the animals, learn more about them and help protect them and do scientific research with them. Um, and build those relationships, but also get to expose the public to this wonderful gift that I get to handle every single day and can teach them to conserve the environment and these animals. Um, and then the last question comes from at C it's Aronza underscore. Is there any animal at SeaWorld that you feel like you have a connection with or a special bond with? Yes. Uh, two different animals. Um, Emac, the Belugula. I did my interaction. <laughs> Sorry, there's a bird. Um, I did my interaction program with him, and he is an amazing animal. What's really awesome is that back in December, I got to do a touch program from dry land with him, and then in that February of the next year, I got to get in the water with him. He is a fantastic animal. I love him so much. He's just a big goof, um, but I really feel like in my heart I have a relationship with him. Um, the other animal though is Donnelly, the Atlantic bottlenose dolphin. I love him to death. He is such a dork. He's the cutest little thing. He's a spunky animal. He's so energetic and he's such a quick learner. Um, I got to meet him from the dry land in December as well. And then in August, I got to jump in the water with him and I had around a 20 minute session with him, with him and a trainer named Ashley and my friend Kira from camp. And what was really cool about this interaction is that I actually got to put on goggles and go underneath the water with him. So I was completely submerged underwater with him, looking him face to face. And the trainer was asking him to blow bubbles, and he was blowing bubbles in front of me and looking me right in the eye and turning his head and looking at me. And it was just an amazing experience. Um, but I honestly love that animal, and I would love to work with him again. He's amazing. But anyway, that is all of the questions that I have this month. I would love for you to go to my Instagram and follow me at Blessed by the Orcas or subscribe to me. Um, the button's right down there, or if you're on mobile, it's right down there too. Um, you can leave a comment down below requesting videos or telling me if you like this video, what you want to see more of, um, and you can even ask me questions for my next Q&A down below and I'll answer them. So thank you guys, have a whale of a day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!